having pre-notions and having those pre-notions kind of guide our discussion. Uh, this is why listening sessions and formal tribal consultations are so important. Uh, when we were going around the country, uh, we heard from individuals about the different components of trauma. And uh, when we were in Nome, there was a group of women who um, much, uh, much like Monica had raised, they had gotten together to provide uh, a voice for those who could not speak. And during that time, uh, there was a woman who shared a very painful story with us. And it became evident that uh, one of the areas we did need to focus our efforts was on trauma-informed training of our law enforcement officials, trauma-informed informed training for those who are providing services uh, as they are doing intake uh, and dealing with the different reactions that people have as a result of trauma. And, and the suggestion that you had about incorporating the, the pre-notions is aligned with that same sort of philosophy and thinking. Uh, so I do appreciate you sharing that uh, because it informs the discussion that takes place amongst the task force. Uh, and it, it keeps, uh, it keeps the issue alive in, in terms of our discussions. And so I, I, I thank you for reminding me of that. Yeah. And I think everybody who, who did speak, um, we certainly, again, if, I think I need that. Um, the, the um, I think, again, please look at the list of uh, places where the task force uh, task force members, we probably all won't make every single one. We are going to make uh, every single effort to go to as many as possible. Uh, this is a very robust plan. I, I can tell you my takeaways from this are a couple things. I'm fascinated. I'm going to go Google immediately the law in North, uh, in New Mexico and Arizona to start to look and see what those look like. Can uh, something like that be transferred to the federal government as we look at deliverables and recommendations and things like that? And I was remiss in my opening um, statements not to share, you know, just very briefly, but um, that attorney, I was able to uh, accompany Attorney General Barr on his visit to Alaska. And I so appreciate the comments that you've made and you know, I know that the efforts that the department uh, is, ma is making toward uh, really what is a public safety crisis in Alaska um, has a lot of complexity to it, including the things that uh, we heard today about trauma-informed care, um, services, education, prevention that starts early, and making sure that everything really is culturally appropriate and competent. So um, I really appreciate that and um, and just some of the challenges that are faced in Alaska are not, are things that are also faced in the lower 48 on perhaps slightly a lesser scale. So I am feeling more grateful than ever for that visit to Alaska because I can not just intellectually understand what you're talking about, but actually know it. And so I thank you. And I thank everyone who spoke today, um, the president, the attorney general, uh, and the secretary of the interior is extremely committed to this issue. And um, as we move forward, we're gonna make information as public and transparent as possible. We've heard you about a side working group, an advisory group, something like that. That's something Tara and I are gonna talk about immediately. 
um, but we've heard that loud and clear. So thank you all very much. I think we were just set for an hour and I'm not sure what the situation is with turning the room over. So I do think that we have to close up, but thank you all very, very much.